in this video we are answering the 2017 paper 2 construction question that came uh, under gce and it was question number five straight away let's uh, read the question and then answer five essays construct the triangle pqr in which pq is nine centimeters angle PQR is equal to 6 centimeters and line QR is equal to 10 centimeters. The second part of essay is measure and write the length of PR. Measure and write the length of PR. So let's answer that. What do we have there? We are being asked to construct a triangle. Alright, that's our triangle. And our triangle has to be labeled P, Q, R. We are told that the length of PQ is 9 centimeters. And the angle PQR, PQR is 60 degrees. The length Q to R is 10 centimeters. And then we've been asked to measure and write the length of PR, which we don't know. So that will be all for 5A. Let's try to construct that and then we'll move on to the next questions. All right, we get our ruler there and um the pencil let's start with constructing the nine uh, centimeter line that's nine centimeters so that is our p that is our q and that is nine centimeters that's nine centimeters yeah that's nine centimeters uh from there We've been told that Q to R is 10 centimeters. So let's just measure 10 centimeters. And then after measuring it, we construct it. That's 10 centimeters. So I'll stand on point Q and I'll do that. I'll construct that. So I know that um, any point on that arc coming to touch Q there that should be 10 centimeters and we've been told that the angle PQR is 60 degrees so let's measure our 60 degrees make sure that your protractor is well placed don't do it properly you might end up getting wrong measurements all right 0 to 60 So our security there and let's connect let's indicate this is 60 degrees having done that we connect where the arc and the line have met we connect to point P as well to point P. So we've been told that this is 10 centimeters. This one who we are not told but rather we are asked to write and measure rather to measure and write that line. So let's measure the length of that line. Okay that's 9.5. Nine point five centimeters. Nine point five centimeters. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, uh let's go on. Let's move on. What next? What next? Question five B. 
uh, 5B says on your diagram, on your diagram, meaning this diagram which we've already constructed here, draw the locus of points within triangle PQR, which are 1, 3 centimeters from PQ, 2, 7 centimeters from R, and 3 if you distant from P and R. So what are we being asked to do? Let's try to scribble something on our draft. So the first part of B says it should be 3 centimeters from P Q. So 3 centimeters from P Q, 3 centimeters from this line. So how should it be? We're going to create two arcs, one there, one there. And there'll be a line touching the, the ends just touching the ends, the topmost parts of the arc, and the distance from there to there is going to be 3 centimeters, the same as the distance from there to there is going to be 3 centimeters. That's, that's B1. Uh, B2, they are saying 7 centimeters from R. 7 centimeters from R. So where R is, we're going to draw a 7 centimeters. So that should be like that, that arc. And if you measure it going up, it should be seven centimeters. And the last part says the locus of point is if we distant from P and R. If we distant from P and R. So P and R is that, meaning draw a locus of point which, or rather a straight line, which is going to bisect PR into two equal parts. So we're going to look for a line which is going to cut in that way so that is what we are going to construct now on our diagram there as we are answering let's quickly just do that so that we finish up so the first part says three centimeters from pq three centimeters from pq so let's measure three centimeters Three centimeters measured. That's how we do that. And anywhere on the line we do that. So now the topmost parts of the arc is what you are connecting with the line. the distance there is three centimeters the second part says seven centimeters from r seven centimeters from r so let's measure seven centimeters seven centimeters from r That's seven centimeters from R. The paper is yours. Be comfortable in constructing so you can rotate it like that and make sure you comfortably draw your seven centimeters from R. All right, there we have it. That's seven centimeters from R, and you indicate you indicate with the dotted line. That is seven centimeters from R. And the last part says. The locus of point, which is if we distant from P and R, if we distant from P and R, let's construct that one. Okay, so we can do that. Let's 
in that enlarge it slightly stand there and draw an arc in that way and to do the same this other side you stand on this point again on the other point that the other side that you constructed you connect and you connect as well Okay, so the lines are increasing on our diagram, but just make sure that you do not uh, misconnect the lines to give us a wrong answer. So it's this point and that point which we are connecting. Hmm, wonderful, wonderful. So the top part of the line is closer to R, the down part of the line is closer to P. Alright, that's it for question uh, B, for question 5B. Let's go to C. Question C says, a point M within triangle PQR is such that it is nearer to R than P, less than or equal to seven centimeters from R and less than or equal to three centimeters from Q. Shared the region in which M must lie. Shared the region in which M must lie. So M has three conditions to satisfy. M has three conditions to satisfy. The first condition is that M is nearer to R than P. So this line is what is determining which section is nearer to R and which one is nearer to P. So if this line is the determinant, coming down is nearer to P and going up of the line is nearer to R. So our point is on this side, the top part of that line. The second condition is that it is M is less than or equal to seven centimeters from R. So meaning it should be within the arc of seven centimeters. It should be within the arc of seven centimeters going up. It should be on top and not coming downwards. And the third condition that it must satisfy is that M is less than or equal to three centimeters. M is less than or equal to three centimeters from PQ. So it should be less than, less than meaning it should be within, um, that's the determining line, so it should be downwards here. So which means the only error to satisfy all the three conditions is um, a very small area. It's this one. So this is our M. You do this, it's a done deal. You've gotten all the marks assigned for the construction question.